Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about upgrading to Lightroom 5. Now this video applies whether you're upgrading from Lightroom 4 or from a previous version. Now before we get to Lightroom 5, I would recommend that if you still have your old version of Lightroom installed, that you open it up and if you're on a PC, go to Edit. If you're on a Mac, go to Lightroom and then down to Catalog Settings. Here on the General tab in Catalog Settings, Lightroom tells us exactly where our Lightroom catalog is and what it's called. So mine's in my Pictures folder, in a folder called Lightroom, and the name of it is my Lightroom catalog at LRCAT. So note down this information in case Lightroom doesn't know what catalog it's supposed to upgrade. Go ahead and say OK to this. And then let's go up to Edit on the PC or Lightroom on the Mac and then down to Preferences. Now there's just one preference that I want you to know how you have it set up because it will determine whether you have to do one additional step. So in Preferences on the Presets tab, look to see whether you're currently storing your presets with the catalog or not. Either way is fine, just note how you're doing that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of Preferences and now I'm ready to start Lightroom 5. So I'm assuming that you've downloaded Lightroom 5 from Adobe.com or maybe you have a DVD from the box version. If you've downloaded the program, double click on your downloaded file to run the installation wizard. If you're not sure where your downloaded file is, it's most likely in your downloads folder, which is in your user folder and then your name folder. Mine would be in users slash Laura slash downloads. So double click on that file to run it or put your DVD in and let it run the installation wizard. And then when it's done, you should have a Lightroom 5 icon on your desktop. Go ahead and double click on this to launch Lightroom. And most likely you're going to get this dialog saying that Lightroom found your old catalog and wants to upgrade it. Now I've switched over to this other scenario for a moment. I'll get back to the upgrade dialog. What if Lightroom did not prompt you to upgrade your catalog and you open Lightroom and you get a blank new catalog? In this case, Lightroom couldn't find your old catalog or it got confused as to which one to open. So it's created a new blank catalog for you. The first thing I would do is make sure you understand where this new blank catalog is so that you can delete it once you get up and running. So you'll go to edit on the PC or Lightroom on the Mac down to Catalog Settings, here on the General tab, make a note that it put this new catalog in a Lightroom folder in Pictures, and here's what it's called. If you previously were not storing your catalog in this Lightroom folder in Pictures, then you can just delete the entire Lightroom folder. Lightroom created this as it set up this new catalog for you. But if your other catalog is in this Lightroom folder, then just delete this file. And if you have a previews file with this exact same, same name, Lightroom 5 catalogs space previews, then you can delete that as well. But don't do that till you're up and running. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. To bring in your Lightroom 4 earlier catalog, you're going to go up to File, Open Catalog. I would first try Open Recent and see if your old catalog is in the list that comes up. Otherwise, you'll go to Open Catalog and you'll navigate to where your old catalog is. So that's what you wrote down a few minutes ago. You'll select the LRCAT file, the one with the Lightroom icon, and you'll click on Open, and at that point you'll get the Upgrade dialog. Now you can also have issues if you were working with the Lightroom 4 beta. Lightroom may open to a blank catalog, in which case you'll follow the instructions I just gave to get to your master catalog, your old catalog. Then, if you're interested in bringing your beta work into your master catalog, once you have that upgraded here, then you can go up to File, Import from another catalog, select your Lightroom 5 beta catalog, and you'll be able to incorporate it into your master catalog here. Of course, if you actually started with the Lightroom 5 beta and have nothing previous to that, then that's what you're going to want to open when you go to File, Open Catalog. So I hope I've covered all the scenarios here. So let's get back to how to work with that upgrade dialog. 
Now, when you upgrade a catalog, it's not going to overwrite your old catalog, which is great. If something goes wrong, you could still revert to your old catalog. It's going to make a copy of it and upgrade that copy for use with Lightroom 5. It's telling me that it's going to put it in the same folder as my old catalog, my Lightroom folder within my pictures folder, and it's going to name it my Lightroom catalog-2. Now, yours may be conveniently named Lightroom 5 Catalog. If so, if you're happy with where it's going to go and what it's going to be called, go ahead and click on the Upgrade button. If you're not happy with what it's called, here's what I would suggest. If you found that you were not storing your presets with your catalog, then you're going to go ahead and click on the Change button, and you're going to specify what you want this to be called and where you want it to be located. So I'll keep it in my Lightroom folder, but I'll call it Lightroom 5 Catalog, for example. And then I would click on Save, and then I would click on the Upgrade button. Now, in my case, I'm not happy with this. I am storing my presets with the catalog, so I'm not going to change the name right now. I'm going to change the name later. This simply allows me to skip another step where I would have to copy over my presets. I'm going to go ahead and click on Upgrade, and it says the upgrade is in process, so Lightroom's adding more information to its catalog because we can do searches on more metadata now. So it needs to add that metadata to the catalog. Of course, my catalog here for this video is extremely small, so that was a short process. Now here you're seeing the side of a cat photograph that I have Lightroom launching instead of the splash screen as Lightroom starts up, but that's a whole nother topic. Now Lightroom is asking me if I want to enable reverse geocoding. This was actually new in Lightroom 4, but since I'm upgrading from Lightroom 3, it's not sure what to do. This allows Lightroom to send GPS coordinates that I may have on my photographs up to Google Maps to figure out what country, city, state, and sublocation those photographs were taken in so that it can add that information to the data in my file so I can find my photos based on location without having to keyword based on location. My photos would have GPS coordinates if my camera attaches them, for example, my iPhone does, or if in Lightroom 4 or Lightroom 5, I drag the photos to the map in the map module. In any case, if that feature sounds interesting to you, I would go ahead and enable this. Lightroom only sends the GPS coordinates. It doesn't send other information about you or your photos, but if you're concerned about privacy, you could disable it. You can always disable it later using the Metadata tab in Catalog Settings. Say OK to this. My cat picture should disappear here, and we're in Lightroom. You should find that if you have any developed presets, for example, that they in fact have transferred over seamlessly. You should also see your identity plate in the Import dialog if you've set up a copyright in contact template, you would see it in the list here. If you are working with a Lightroom 4 beta and you want to incorporate that work into your master catalog, you'll go up to File, Import from another catalog. You'll navigate to and select that beta catalog. Make sure that you select the LRCAT file. At that point, you'll be able to incorporate that work and any photos that you didn't already have in your master catalog. Now there's one additional step here for folks that were storing their preset with a catalog but are not happy with the name of their catalog. Let's actually rename those. I'm going to go up to Edit on the PC or Lightroom on the Mac and then down to Catalog Settings. And on the General tab, I can see that my catalog's in the right place but it's got this weird name. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Show button here and Lightroom opens up a Windows Explorer window with my catalog folder highlighted. Before I work with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close Lightroom completely. We're going to rename its catalog, but we don't want to do that while it's open. So I'm going to go into my catalog folder. My Lightroom catalog was my Lightroom 3 version. My Lightroom catalog-2 is my Lightroom 5 version. So I'm going to right click on this and choose Rename. And I'm going to name this my Lightroom 5 catalog, and I'll take out the dash 2. And then I'm also going to name this previews file. This may look a little different on the Mac, but if it says previews and the name matched 
the Lightroom 5 catalog. Let's rename this exactly the same. So I'll right click and rename and I'm going to make sure that I name it exactly the same including any capitalization and that I leave space previews.lr data at the end. Next, right here in this dialog, I'm going to double click on my Lightroom 5 catalog to launch Lightroom with this renamed catalog. If you just went and opened Lightroom, it would be confused. It would still be looking for the old name. Now I'm in great shape. Regardless of what path you had to go down, you've got a catalog named properly. I'll go to Edit Catalog Settings and the General tab, and you can see my Lightroom 5 catalog in the right place, and we're in great shape. Okay, just one more step to get you set up, regardless of whether you had to rename your catalog. Let's go up to Edit on the PC or Lightroom on the Mac and down into Preferences again. Here on the General tab, where it says Default Catalog, when starting up, use this catalog. Change it from Load Most Recent to the specific catalog that you just opened. So here's my Lightroom 5 catalog in my Pictures folder. This way Lightroom will always open this catalog. It won't get confused. Now, if you're upgrading from Lightroom 3, I want to show you one upgrade issue that you're going to see. I'm going to select this photo that I know that I worked on in Lightroom 3. I'm going to come over to the Develop module, and I'm going to open the Basic panel. What I'm going to see is that I still have the Lightroom 3 sliders here. I thought Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5 had shadows and highlights. Well. Lightroom 5 does, but this photo is still using the old technology, the old process version. In Lightroom 5, the way I know this, besides the fact that the sliders are different, is that I see this little lightning bolt here. And if I have the histogram open, here's the little lightning bolt here. So to work on this photo with the new sliders, I need to update the process version on this photo. On my blog, I have an article discussing when, if, and how you'll update to the new process version. This article was written for Lightroom 4 because that's when we got the new sliders. So read that article, or if you're watching this video as part of my Fundamentals and Beyond series, watch the video on process version. The next thing to do would be to work with Lightroom for a while. You should see all of your photographs here in Lightroom. They should have all of your work. You shouldn't have any issues. Once you're comfortable that everything went well, the next step would be to delete your old Lightroom catalog and uninstall your old Lightroom software. So my old Lightroom catalog, which I wrote down the location on, is in my Pictures folder, in my Lightroom folder, but it's called my Lightroom catalog, not my Lightroom 5 catalog. So once I'm comfortable with Lightroom 5, I can delete my old catalog. To uninstall the old Lightroom program on a PC, you would go into your Control Panel and then Uninstall Programs. On a Mac, you can go into your Applications folder and drag the application to the trash. Next, it's time to start having fun with the great new features in Lightroom 5. I'm Laura Shue.